<laughs> I lied. It wasn't the last video, and now we're down to 66 gigabytes remaining. Oh, boy. Okay, so I said in the last video, hey, Junior, I also said in the last video that you weren't aggravating my allergies, and now my nose is starting to get a little, a little stuffy. So I said in the last video that I was going to go through my collection and talk about if it's changed anything. And I want to do that, so I'm going to do that but only for a few of them, specifically the Nemesis, because I don't know what I'm going to do with the Nemesis. Has my opinion changed with the Nemesis? I don't know. I would also like to do it for the Kuno, maybe the Prisma, although the Prisma I'm... whatever, and then the Impusa now that I've tried the original Medusa. So that's what we're going to do. All the other stuff is like, like the edit. I guess now that we've tried the prototype edit, the edit just feels like way better. Um, the edit's a little more wobbly, but I also have full handle bias in here because I knew that's what Ty would like when usually I would have the lower weights. So that feels a little bit different, but like the edit just feels overall way, way better. I really can't stress how different this feels to the prototype one. Um, but yeah, not much to say about that. Let's look at the Nemesis. The Nemesis is still really good. I still really like the Nemesis. It's just, now that I've flipped the Cygnus and I've felt what, like, the distribution of it with the handle bias, I am ever so aware of all the weight in the end of the handles. Like, painfully aware of it. But, like, it still flips so good and it looks so good. The thing with the Nemesis is every time I think about wanting to sell it, which, like, I've thought about it once before, maybe, I look at it. This is my favorite design in all the Ballast songs. I can't even lie. The way that the handles go together with the surface texturing and then the blade and it kind of, like, recurves down and it just... It's so nice looking. Add that to the fact that this thing's been discontinued. Like, I don't think the Nemesis is in jeopardy in my collection, right? That's what I'm saying. I don't think it's in jeopardy, but at the same time, I don't know. I still really like it. It still really matches my flipping preferences. I still flip like noticeably better to myself whenever I flip it. But I also really like the Cygnus. I'm actually just now realizing the Cygnus kind of feels similar to the Nemesis. It's just that the Nemesis has way more weight that it's throwing around in the end of its handles. Whereas the Cygnus is more distributed. Ah, but it is so good. Yeah. Cygnus is really good, but so is the Nemesis. Man. I guess that's the question. Would I trade one for one? Because, like, the Nemesis retails for 300 and I spent, like, $75 on modding it. But it's also discontinued. The Cygnus retails for four fifty. I don't think anyone would ever one to one trade these. But if they did, would I do that? I don't know. And I think the fact that this is way less, the fact that it's a stretch to do a one to one trade for a Nemesis for a Cygnus, and the fact that I still don't know if I would do it, probably says volumes about how much I like the Nemesis. So I think the Nemesis is safe for now, right, Junior? Let's do the Prisma. The Prisma is not in jeopardy because I love the Prisma. And the Prisma is still amazing. In fact, maybe even a little better because this feels just really great. Nothing new here. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. It's just, I did a video last Blade Show where I said flipping my Balasong collection for the first time in a while. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. Except it's only been like two days and I've been flipping other stuff. Instead of like the two weeks that it was last time because I got COVID from the show. But yeah, Prisma, still goaded, still awesome, great. Let's do the Kuno next. The Kuno, I think, is going to be not any different. I still love the Kuno. The Kuno is actually... 
I think I like here. Okay, hear me out. I think I like the flipping experience of the Kuno better than the Cygnus. But I like the fact that the Cygnus is standard. The Cygnus isn't super long. It doesn't have super weird proportions. It's not super light. And I think those are all things that I like about the Kuno. But I think I like the Cygnus so much because, like, it's on par, I think, with the flipping experience of the Kuno. If not, just, like, a little better. And... It's standard. Like, look at the look at the size difference between these two. Whew. Although I will say that the length Squiddy Syndrome has kind of died on the Kuno for me. So that's good. Everything else doesn't seem short and stubby anymore. And now that I'm flipping this again, it doesn't feel hilariously long. But man, the Kuno is really... I think this is... I was sort of thinking that Ty's collection was going to make me realize how the Kuno, like... Is just kind of a little weird, but no. Now I realize that it's weird, but I also really like it. <laughs> it's really good. It's a really good flipping experience. Yeah, good job, Remshi. Nothing new here. Also, the pivots are the pivots on this thing get so gunked up, but Ty put thick in here. And it made it sound amazing, but my lord, does he get gunked up, gunked up easily. Okay, finally, the Impusa. Now that I've tried the Medusa, what are my real thoughts on the Impusa? And it's just as I thought. This thing flips so much better for my personal preferences. It's still got like that, that hit of handle bias that the Nemesis has, but without like the weird shakiness of the Medusa, or the wobbliness as I was calling it. It doesn't sound as good, because like I said, stripped screw, which means that the tolerances are the worst. Thankfully, it's on the safe side, so it doesn't matter, and the blade isn't blade rubbing. So that tells you, like, leagues about <laughs> Grant's um, manufacturing process and how good his knives are. This has tap, even if I just shake it a little bit, which you'd think, oh, it's probably blade rubbing. Nope. No grinding on the inside channel. None of that. Uh, what is that? Oh, no, that's just like a... Yeah, no grinding on the inside of the channel. This flows way better than the Impusa for my preferences. A little bit... Or, sorry, this flows way better than the Medusa for my preferences. A little bit more neutral while still having enough handle bias to chaplain and fan really well. Or no, to chaplain and roll over really well, but still fanning really well. And I'm less scared of the Impusa because the Sirius, I think, is sharper. This thing is still wicked sharp, but it's degraded because I've been cutting things with it since I got it from Grant, which is good because now I'm not as terrified of it as I was. Still scary, still a scary knife, trust me, but I can, oh boy, I can flip it so much easier than I could before. I think that's something Blade Show is going to teach me, is it's going to teach me not to be scared of live blades anymore, because this cut that I got in my pinky right here, this was like three months ago, it still hasn't healed. I still get nervous around live blades because of it. Not terribly nervous, but like I still hesitate sometimes on live blades because of that cut. <gasps> yeah, shows you how sharp the Impusa is. It's still getting me in my my little right here. In this, when I do the whip rollover, the blade comes up and hits me. Probably about as much as the Sirius did with this. So if that shows you any sharpness difference, this did not break skin. And that did that. So, yeah, but still... Man, the Impusa is a work of art. I love it. I love it. I love it. Do you love it, Junior? He chilling. Junior just chilling. So yeah, I'm... I'm so disappointed Grant isn't going to Blade Show. I really wanted to talk his ear off about how much I love the Impusa. And just, like, listen to him talk. Because he's one of those people, him and Dalen, which we hung out with at last Blade Show... 
are just the kinds of people who know so much about what they do. You could listen to them talk for hours. Um, and Will's the same way, but Will talks about literally anything like that. But these two specifically about like making ballast songs and stuff. And I'm so interested in hearing that. I really should listen to more of their podcasts. I, I say that like every single time. But yeah, Impusa. I like the Impusa better than the Medusa. I can say it definitively. And it's, I almost would say it's not even close. But that would be unfair on the Medusa. So yeah, that's my collection. I guess we can flip the Cycloid. Cycloid feels really good. Um, kind of like the marbles. Like, I can feel... That, that's a weird thing to say. There's there's no similarities between the two. Um, but yeah, the Cycloid V2. Pretty, pretty good. Everything in this case has been improved by me trying Ty's collection. So that's pretty cool. That's very cool. Except maybe the Nemesis. I think I'm, like, neutral on the Nemesis from where I was before. But everything else got improved. Oh, and I got my beautiful boy back. Ty gave me my beater Arctic back. I said, like, when I was packing for Blade Show that I was going to bring that, that mystery blade. But then I realized, wait, no, Ty has the whole Arctic. There's no point to, like, bringing the blade. So I didn't bring the blade. But now that I have this back, I can finally do all the craziness with the Arctics that I wanted to. So I'm going to put this green blade on the new green scales. I'm going to put these beet scales on the new mystery blade, and then I'm going to reassemble the fire and ice arctic. So it'll be like my old green arctic is being carried forward in some ways, but now I have the original scales back. They're still a little bindy, which is no fault of Ty's. He just couldn't do what he did to his arctic, but the tolerances, I'm actually flipping it and it has tolerances. Which before you couldn't do. You you either had tolerances or you couldn't flip it. So that's really cool. Thank you, Ty, for that. And now the junior has made himself very comfortable in front of my case. I'm going to end this video. I think the next time I see you guys, I'll be off to Blade Show. Or I'll be at Blade Show or something of that nature. And I can give you opinions on a lot more stuff. I cannot believe how many videos I made off of Ty's collection. I'm so glad I farmed him for content. <laughs> Sorry, Ty, if you're watching this. Anyway, I'm going to go play with Junior now that he's out. Dude was avoiding me all day. Except for the videos that you weren't. You were being annoying in some of them. You can't flip near pets. Don't flip near your pets. Stupid. It's stupid. Although, also... Some people don't realize how little, like, how much difference this camera makes in terms of distance. Sometimes it looks like I'm flipping near him, but I'm actually, like, a good three arms length away from him. There's no... Did you just bite at me? Don't do that. Ow! Okay, I know you play with Ty like that, but I don't want to be played with like that. Okay. Thank you all for watching.